Olympic vlog number four. Thanks for tuning in. It's Victor, obviously. Uh, I think at this point you know who I am. Uh, happy you guys want to follow along. This has been some exciting weeks. I was in Denmark for a week and I uh, had the first sort of test on the ice and um, and we finished a crazy bike week that was very painful and I was I was tired by the end of it and uh, because we had to time things uh, both Sophia and I because we went home to see family and and for me meeting up with some some sponsors potential partnerships um, we had to train another hard week before we could get that recovery week whereas uh, the plan was to only do two hard weeks so that third week really really hurt but it uh, ended on a good note I see skated what we call an index where we do three laps for me this time was four laps at race pace so for me that would be 5k and uh, that's 12 laps so I did four laps and then two laps rest four laps two laps rest four laps two laps rest four laps and then as long as you can basically or as fast as you can so this one we already planned it should only be three sets so it would be a full 5k and the first one with a stand start and time for good it was um so my personal record is lap times of 29.3 or 4 average and this one was i think 29 0 29 1 2 ish uh so happy about that that was definitely good it's getting faster than ever i think which is pretty wild because it's so early in the season and and that was the last day of a crazy hard blog. I do think some of it is probably because of the ketones. Um, yeah, I'm, it's, I just wrote my first post online that we closed that partnership deal. That's super cool because, uh, God, they work and, um, and the people there are really nice. So that probably helped a bit in the recovery, helped a bit during that specific workout. Um, and I am getting some help from them on how much to take, when to take it. So those are definitely, definitely helpful in all that, especially this time when we're just training so hard. And um, so that was nice. The bike cam was wild. We did the toughest climb of Utah. That was one hour at 320 watts. And my average speed was, I think, 12 or 11 something kilometers per hour. <laughs> that was brutal. An average of 12% for... Uh, well, no, a climb that took me an hour, so pretty crazy. But um, hopefully that toughens us up. It's still fun. Uh, not at the moment, maybe, but after. And that was a really nice thing, just doing a, a week like that as a team where we bike together, spend most days, the whole day together. But just stay on the main road. Once you get closer to the top, there's one road that you need to turn on. And it looks like you can... Got eight together, stuff like that. Um, so kind of like that in that way and then back to Denmark I'll fast forward this thing for you guys to see uh, how that went so by now I'm halfway through my Denmark slash Barcelona trip it's been really it's been really cool it's been a lot of fun I uh, got to see my family that was awesome it did also make me realize how little I see my family um, I think I spent about 30 minutes with my sister this time because we were in a rush um, and and only had half a day with my parents because um, we only have a week off it takes a while to travel to Denmark back to the US um, had to check up on our our house even though Nova Solar rental company did an amazing job I had to go mow the lawn um, had to pick up some things drop off some things had to pick up a suit because Sophia is now racing for Denmark so she needed a suit for that and then, and then I had some sort of business meetings, which was really one of the things that I wanted to talk about in, in this walk. That part of being a skater, it's something that I really enjoy actually. Um, and I try and be, I am my own agent, my own manager, because I, I think it's a, it's a good thing to do if you have the option. Again, I'm not, I'm not a massive star in sports. It's not like I earn millions of dollars. So I think it's a, the financial part of it um, that plays a big role 
that I don't have to pay any percentages to anybody and then I also just really like to be hands-on and I think I believe that all these sponsorships or partnerships become much more successful if I'm more engaged with it and, and it's nice to meet the people that I actually work with and uh, I was out meeting up with Celia from souls.dk um, and they made a scan of my feet so I'm gonna get some customized 3d printed uh, insoles for my uh, my bike shoes and my running shoes which is cool uh, it's gonna save my knees and uh, and then in general just you know, better footwear. Um, so I'm gonna test those over the next weeks and months and, and see if that works out to become sort of a partnership, sponsorship. Um, so fingers crossed that, that the products are good. I do believe so and, uh, and that they wanna work with me also. And uh, then I met up with the, the squad at Aerofit. Um, they're super nice people. I've known them for, for some years now. Awesome product. Aerofit is it's very international, but at the same time it's Danish. They have their headquarters in Copenhagen. So I think it's my third time visiting. Um, I know a lot of them quite well, so that was nice seeing them again. We made some cool videos um, for YouTube, for Instagram, different things, and um, and made a special little sponsorship kind of deal where um, I am now allowed to sell these AeroFit devices cheaper than anybody else in the world. So even though it's not a direct sponsorship, that can help me out. Um, used the AeroFit for a bunch of years, so gathered a lot of data on it and tried to promote it to my best abilities. So it's cool that they give some back that I can give people a 25% uh, discount on the AeroFit. If, if this is not really a video on AeroFit, but I can leave a link below where you can uh, buy any AeroFit product with that discount. Um, so that was fun being in there. I also went to the House of Sports in Denmark to see the doctors out there. I had this little weird swollen area on my calf and um, thankfully it turned out to just be water that had been squeezed from my knee down there and uh, there's no danger to it so um, good news <laughs> and that's one of the hard parts about doing a sport almost constantly in a different country is that if you know if there's any issues I don't have the team Denmark physios or doctors there with me uh, so it's I don't know if it's a risk or just a massive inconvenience um, but thankfully I've been injury free for quite a while um, so fingers crossed it'll, it'll stay that way